It is Saturday, September 14th, 2024. I'm out here at Fairplex in Pomona for the Grand National Truck Show. Uh, this is the second year of this one. I did film it last year. Last year I brought my van. This year I brought my Suburban, which is what we have a, a video of in the uh, Project Car tab on the channel. Uh, this one should be a great one. They've got a whole hall full of amazing trucks and as well as the uh, the truck in which is outside uh, here. Uh, so we're gonna go see what's inside in a few as soon as they open the doors there and they'll be competing for the uh, title of world's most beautiful truck. Uh, so without further ado, let's go have a look. There's some of the trucks and minivans rolling in. Actually bring them in in uh, groups. I say with any show here, I like to get anywhere where they do indoor stuff, especially I like to get there early. Last year they didn't open the hall till nine o'clock, so assuming it will be the same this year. Also make sure you like the video, leave some comments about some of these trucks. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's see, next week we have uh, Ontario Cruising Reunion, which thankfully is not on the same day as, as, this la as it was last year. On Saturday, and then Sunday we got Run With a Winner at uh, Irwindale Speedway. That's actually We got Thor, the God of Thunder. With this uh, giant Kenworth. I don't think there's anything on this that has not been modified. So coming in a couple weeks, we have, uh, it's on the 28th, we have Cruising for a Cure down at uh, the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds. It's always a popular one as well. Check out all these blowers. So always check the tentative list to let you know what I'm planning on filming in the near future. And in fact, I already started filling in 2025 dates as they pop up. I'm gonna try to stand back a little bit. you take this one in. And coming up in October, we got Hot Rod Power Tour West coming up. Planning on taking the Mustang for that one again. So we've got to put new tires on it as the tires are like nine years old <laughs> on that car. And the Suburban is the backup currently for, for that. Shut the axe. This is one wild semi.
Corridor Suburban. Back here at Pomona for the day one of Hot Rod Power Tour in October, as well as the Pomona Swap Meet, which I believe is the 13th. An October shot full of events to hit. An uh, international step van. I just went over to check to see when the hall would be open. <laughs> Apparently they have a DJ inside at 10, so I'm going to try to get as much of the indoor shot before that happens. about today we're only gonna have a high of 82 which is uh will be very nice for a show last week we had highs in the hundreds <laughs> for last weekend is sitting up right here so I'm going to start filming some of the trucks that are already parked just to kind of cover myself there's a, a mini truck I suppose I'm supposed to have a dancing bed thing later on I have to see when that's going to happen and where it's going to happen and so we'll get this so when the music's on oh thanks do a lot of walk, get a lot of steps. You play like Colorado two or three times. Like the third worst record in the league. Yeah. So the uh, Red Rider BB gun. Remember uh, Christmas Story? You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> Everybody remembers that movie. All right, so some uh, viewer Rick uh, just just reminded me. I need to remind you again what I the new purchase is for the uh, project car, I guess, tab of the channel. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you don't know the story, I went to an estate sale two weeks ago looking for some records that were advertised and the family decided to keep them and I wound up buying a car at the estate sale, which is pretty much the most bike thing ever. So I can announce, which I did announce in the Edsel Club video last weekend, um, I did also post a picture of it in the community tab that the new project car is in fact a 1967 Plymouth Satellite VIP two-door hardtop factory 383 four-speed car. So obviously something I'm very excited for because I never thought I'd own something like that. So Matador is probably going to go up for sale next week. Uh, I thought I had it rented on a music video, so I didn't put it up for sale last week. And the Suburban I was going to put up for sale, but I'm, I'm kind of holding off for now because it is my backup vehicle for uh, Power Tour, which is coming up. Just in case my other vehicle is not ready. I'm not sure if those chimes are recorded or if they're actual chimes. Nice blacked out C10. I think we have another line of trucks rolling into the show here in a minute. V8 dub. SSR. Sort of a pickup. Based on a pickup. I know they get registered as a commercial vehicle. Obviously, you're not going to go to Home Depot and bring home lumber with it. So, coming diesel. I barely nearly cleaned up my 96 Dodge Cummins just in case the Suburban, which has been running fine, uh, wasn't, wasn't good, which I do need to clean it up anyway. But, but, uh, I kind of did the first sort of clean on the uh, Suburban since I've had it. In fact, there's a lot of sand in there. Uh, Explorer. I guess they said you can bring it if you have a SUV of any type. A uh, Ford Wrong Bed F100. Ford F100. Now, I do need to clean up my uh, 96 Dodge truck. It's, it's a work truck. It's the one I use for hauling stuff and towing trailers and whatnot. It's, it's getting to where it's almost 30 years old. Like the 12 valve Cummins trucks are definitely coming up in value. That 57 Ford pickup. Going to a 56. We've got Chevy power. Pretty prepared today. I even packed a sandwich. What do you club breakfast one morning? Beautiful 56 F100. I do know one of the contenders inside, I believe, is a 57 Ranchero. But I will bring this 59. This one is Dodgers theme. 
I think last year I was like, well, are they going to let El Caminos and Rancheros <laughs> into the show? Which I think they said in the thing, anything with a bed or that's like an SUV or a van. That's what they said. In fact, I believe last year one of the contenders was a 70 El Camino as well. So, yeah. So let's see if we got a tiger theme going. I'm going to set up 100. Yes. Yeah. 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 There you go, we got this. We saw this at the F100 Western Nationals in Anaheim a few months back. This is a all original F100 ice cream truck. <laughs> and uh, he found it, I talked to the guy last time, he found it in a garage at a house that was being cleaned out. And uh, check this out. It was built out as an ice cream truck. All the uh, Carnation logos. She got those prices. 20 cents for a Neapolitan. There you go. Vegetable, 12 cents. That was a few years ago. I love it. It's uh, Canada Dry Soft Drinks. There you go, 20 cents. Yeah, so I think that was probably the highlight of that video. All right, well, I again, this is the sure. stage up. I worked there all week. This is before, but let me show you. I, 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 I serve the Lord as hard as I can. Trucks rolling in. All right, so for tomorrow, I do have a two-day pass for this, but I don't. I'm going to see if there's anything else to film. And if not, I'll be probably going over to work on the Plymouth at my. It's actually stored at my mother's right now until I can sell something and get it back to my house. I did get it to start off ether, but I got to go through the fuel system. And after I started the camera, I realized I skipped a truck in between uh, filming the, the rolling. Look at the Chevy, then I'll roll back into the F100. I caught it. <laughs> I've seen this at uh, various events before. There's a right hand drive Chevy C10. talking to this guy last year. It definitely has a theme going. Got a F-250 4 x 4 for sale. Don't forget to check that swap mate rule. Check the date of the video before you dial anything. Hopefully you can read that. I don't think he completely covered it by the wiper blade. I had to announce it in the Long Beach video because the guy complained on the Pomona video. Apparently he left his for sale sign under the wiper blade all day where the, where the phone number was. And I didn't get it, so 
Anderson. I don't know In fact, I didn't spend a lot of time because I noticed he, it was you couldn't read the phone number, so it was completely pointless for the viewers. That's a crew cab. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I got baseball to the uh, griller. I, I, took, 50. I filmed this one a bunch of times I before. My, um, I took my. Very nice patinaed GMC long bed. I said I may go film something else tomorrow if I can find something or go work on the Plymouth. So. It's a very rare weekend day where I don't think there's much going on. I don't think there is much tomorrow. I don't think I saw much on the schedule. Or I could just come back out here and just hang out. But uh, I will probably make the decision tonight. <laughs> As with the uh, Grand National Roadster Show, I assume uh, the bigger day for the outside stuff is going to be on uh, Saturday versus Sunday. I have a problem with this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I can get this last little line. I'm going to go check the door of the hall to see if I can get in. It is creeping up on 9 o'clock. And we'll avoid the lawn chairs as much as possible. I actually brought my chair this time, but I left it inside the back. Until I need it later. I don't believe there's any more vehicles coming in for the outside stuff unless they're, they're, they're just running late. Clean uh, 90s F-150. Uh, who brought this thing? Oh man, this guy. <laughs> yep, it's my... <laughs> I bought this one at a state sale as well. I did do a video on it. I've got the back seats. In fact, it does have the third row seat. It's in my uh, shed at home, but uh, uh, man, this thing has been very useful. <laughs> Originally purchased to flip, and then I just really like the truck, so holding on to it for now. The 86 GMC Suburban with a Chevy grill. <laughs> I literally went to an estate sale, and it was not in the listing, so I didn't know there was gonna be anything vehicle related to so they're firing off the uh there you go first gen dodge ram cummins the 12 valve
rolling. Hopefully the mic didn't get blown out too bad by the uh, Kenworth. Like if they do a remake of Maximum Overdrive, that'd be <laughs> that'd be a good one for the truck. <laughs> I think if they did that, they'd have to they'd have to redo the uh, the was it the clown or Joker face, whatever that was. Someone will correct me. Right, we are going to start with the contenders for the world's most beautiful truck. We are finally in the building. <laughs> they, they didn't let us until exactly nine o'clock so, this is what you've been waiting for Get this Ford F1 of course they get vehicles from literally all over the world competing I hold on. A yeah, Chevy ramp truck. And I will say the lighting inside at these shows uh, does do odd things sometimes to the camera. So I will try to remember to go a little slower so you can see some of that detail. stars that light up oh. <laughs> for the running lights. That's oh, evil Ken Evil theme. That's the one. This is absolutely incredible. Even the stars on the uh, bed there are illuminated. Check out the stars on the headliner there. There's a Volkswagen transporter, the double cab, and one of the contenders, I was talking to the gentleman who, uh, with the uh, car hauler, uh, if you've ever seen the Evil Knievel 55 Chevy, it's been in my videos before. They built that to haul that car. <laughs> Just funny because when I was looking at this one, I'm like, man, they should have a matching car to go with this. <laughs> so, so I guess normally they haul the uh, 55 Chevy with it. Beautiful 1957 Ford Ranchero. Again, it's one of the contenders. And so this show I film a little different than Roadster. Roadster show I'm able to come in when I get in, shoot the uh, contenders first. Uh, this year, obviously, on the inside, you'd get the, a little bit of the outside first. I always like to do my videos in chronological order, so that's how it will post. Uh, 56. F100.
It's a 1940 Ford pickup. It was uh, last year's winner. Of course, we've seen this at uh, other shows as well. In fact, this was uh, even, I put this in the thumbnail of last year's video. In fact, I did that before I knew it, won't want, it was going to win. So, but absolutely gorgeous pickup. Seventy-two C ten. In orange. A lot of times you'll see some of the uh, vehicles from here, at, from here and from Grand National Roads for show at SEMA as well, which we have coming up in November. And Chevy is one of the contenders. I also let the general public in at 10. That's one reason why I like to get. That's uh, one reason why I like to get a car show entry so I can get here an hour early. It, it does take me several hours to film this building, though. So by the time I'm done in this building, the, the uh, spectators will be let in. Look at this bed. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Gatsby, like the great Gatsby. Like that book you read in junior high, you know. So we all know the California Kid. Well, this one's the California Kid Express. Tenders. A roadster pickup. Flat head with a blower. Another contender. Take that in for a second. And Apache Fleet Side 59, four wheel drive. Another one of the contenders. Six F one hundred. Boss 
Boss motor. It says it's how many cubic inches? 540 cubic inch. F100. I believe this is the final contender. C10. 72. She's got solar panels back there. Oh, it just says aluminum honeycomb. I was like, why would you? Interesting. We got a uh, very lifted Dodge Ram Cummins diesel 3500 Dually. I'm gonna start down here. I thought maybe there was a DJ setting up somewhere in here. So I thought it would be on the stage side. Which would make sense. There's a vendor over there that's playing music. So I have to short clip it, clip it when I'm over that way. GMC Dually. Called Black Ice. I saw some pictures of this one on uh, Facebook. This is the Stonehenge van. This one was recently finished. Custom Ford Courier. It's called the Little Hawaiian. The uh, 39 Lincoln Zephyr made into a sedan delivery. Yeah, it's got a uh, Streamline motorcycle, BMW. Yeah, 
this guy. House speakers now, so we're going to be doing a lot of short clipping when we're near them. The floor panel. It's the uh, matching speedboat. <laughs> Test one two, testing one two. This is Garden Van, which is this van at various events over the years. Shot 56 Ford F100. Got an Inferno jet powered truck. Suits on. square body with an orange blower. We have the uh, boogie van. Body dually with a uh, diesel. Got a 
bunch of mini trucks. New minis club. All these guys were at the uh, Lowrider Super Show this year. The 98 Toyota Tacoma pickup. Dancing bed. I'm gonna find out when the uh, dancing bed competition is. I think it's outside a little later on. Guys uh, bringing the base with them. They're one of the uh, members of the new minis club. with the blower that fits under the uh, hood there. Uh, Two-door Tahoe. It is slammed. Our mini truck. Lots of mini trucks today. I'm sure bet these guys have also shown up at Radwood as well. I don't think I'm doing Radwood this year. I think Nitro Revival is the same day as Radwood LA. Uh, so I think I'm going to do Nitro Revival. It's very strange for me because I've filmed, I've been to, I think, every Radwood LA. <laughs> Chopped Chevy van. I think the uh, crowds are starting to filter in as well. The Dodge Street van is the Scarlet Witch van. Silverado van. I was talking to the owner, he says I've never filmed his van. I'm pretty sure I've filmed this van before, but so we'll make sure we get it in the video. Now you mentioned his other van, which I know I have filmed, so. I'd love it. Can you ask I usually try to get just about everything. I think the music went down a little bit so we can keep going. Another uh, 
truck with a boat. The C10 short bed. A 69 Howard boat. I guess this is before they did big screen TVs. <laughs> Some of you guys will get that. I think that was Howard's. Here's an oddball. It's a Powell truck. These ones that have the uh, little slide outs in the back. Definitely an oddball truck that you don't see very often. There you go, there's the slide outs for your fishing rods. There you go, we got a OBS Suburban, so I don't have the only Suburban here. Actually, we saw that three door earlier. Always tell me I should slam mine. Mine's a 2500, you'd have to switch everything over to the uh, half ton uh, axle and all. Besides, I, I think it's fine the way it is. So. <laughs> close to it anyway because of the rope. Got a uh, Caltrans square body. Years ago I had a, uh, I believe it was a 74 short bed square body C10 that was from the factory Caltrans orange. I always wondered if it was originally a Caltrans truck. Yeah, K5. Blazer looks like you put Bronco headlights on it. Modern style. The uh, Cadillac wheel, so I guess it's got the interior from like a CTS V or something. We'll drive a GMC half ton. Sierra Grande edition. Yeah, no, it hurts. 56 F100. Got a Chevy S10. It's customized. of all years and make some models here. Dually, the extended 
cab. I actually used to work at a uh, Buick GMC dealership. I worked at, uh, in Pasadena. Uh, it wasn't way back then though. A uh, Swagon Transporter, bare metal. Actually, I think it's just uh, coating to make it look like bare metal. What's funny is my Suburban was actually sold new there back, back in the day. Like it still has the uh, plate frame on the back. Well, I was mostly on the Buick side, but I did sell GMCs as well. A lot going on here. This one, the lighting is definitely going to mess up the camera, so I will freely admit that. I bought all the LEDs off Amazon. Look at this Papa Smurf. Look at that Smurf hat. Crooked license plate. That was like a thing to do back in the 80s on the custom mini trucks. Right hand drive. Custom. Custom van. Well, here's another custom van. This one's called Death Wish. Yeah, the uh, old TV. You know, Death Wish, like the, the movie with uh, Charles Bronson. How many of those did they make? I'll have to look that up later. you. He's got a vinyl top. Dad actually worked with Charles Bronson. He used to get, uh, he was on his Christmas card list. <laughs> until, until unfortunately, uh, Mr. Charles Bronson passed away. But my dad used to get Christmas cards every year from Charles Bronson. <laughs> There's a little trivia for you.
also got a uh, cooler under the bed. I'm pretty sure it's not ice, otherwise it would melt. <laughs> wow, that was a beautiful uh, Dodge pickup. Cummins, 12 valve. That's a very clean Dodge. So I went driving the uh, Suburban. Uh, so I own the Suburban, which of course has a 454, I think I've mentioned. And I've got a 12 valve Dodge. I totally get why they put the 12 valves in the uh, Older like square body pickups and whatnot. Crowds are definitely filtering in now. They actually have this on uh, KTLA. I think every time they do Roadster Show or Truck Show here, the KTLA comes out on Friday and does a thing on the morning news. What? They were out here yesterday. Like I'm about at an hour of footage already. I still have one very large section outside after we get done inside here. Which we're not even, we still have a pretty good amount here too. Yet to do. Suburban. Chevy G Series van. I don't think I have any uh, van meets I'm filming anytime soon. I, I think the next one is BYOB in Anaheim, and I think I have something else that day. I don't remember correctly. I have filmed that one a couple times in the past. We have 73. Ten. Blazer. 
51 uh, Chevy cab over. Camino, a 73 to be exact. See this one at the uh, Pomona Swap Meet all that. if you like collecting records like I do because <laughs> sometimes it leads to buying things like I don't know 67 big block Puma satellites <laughs> no it's uh, I got another channel for records called Mike finds things the link will be in the video description and uh, I can't remember this week one of these weeks I go tour a uh, exhibition about Louis Prima most weeks I'm finding uh, rare Records 7845 and LP. Definitely worth checking out if you're into that kind of stuff. Especially like oldies and obscure oldies. Thousand original miles on this 94 Chevy Blazer, the full size Blazer. Originally stickered at 24,883. It is a very clean example. Most of these were not kept in that kind of condition, let's just say. In fact, uh, when I worked at Buick, somebody, Buick GMC, Someone came to trade one in that was just absolutely hammered. And uh, he actually wound up not trading it in, but I was kind of after it myself, but <laughs> it, was, it was nowhere near that condition. It's 
full-size Blazer Tahoes of that era. That was on Power Tour West last year, as was I. I'll be doing five days of that come October. At GMC Jimmy. For sale, 27,000 miles on this one, on the uh, square body Jimmy. Check the date of the video. How are you guys doing? Look at how you doing. for sale as well, see Ron Hot Rod. And back to another van. Dark in there. <laughs> Show the old school uh, Boyd's rims. Those are actually pretty collectible now. Very cool uh, 90s. Rig. All right, so now we're on the outside portion I didn't get earlier. So lots of great trucks to see here. So I had to take a break and get us grab my sandwich, so I did. I'm not sure, I think the NHRE yeah. Motorsports Museum is open today as well. And if you've never been to that, it's actually open uh, not just when there's events here, but you need to check to make sure they are open. So if you're in the uh, Pomona area, it's definitely worth checking out. Also, uh, they do the uh, Wednesday night cruises there. Not every, it's, it's like once a month. So I check on their website which Wednesdays it is. And it's also worth checking out. I did film that uh, for the uh, Christmas edition this past year. I have to remember to go in and get my goodie bag as well because I know they give you like a uh, magnet or something like that. I have a lot of work in the I've gotten the uh, goodie bags from these events before. <laughs> They always say, I learned one thing doing these shows. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. <laughs> Come back refreshed and hit the rest of the show. You know, I got a, a three door Suburban. It's got one door on this side, two doors on the other. a 72 model. Lo well, and behold, two doors on this side. Custom vans. Maybe next year, if they, if they uh, will bring the uh, van back again next year. I don't plan on buying anything else. Of course, I didn't plan on buying anything else when I bought that Plymouth. <laughs> but that just sort of like jumped up and said, "Buy me." <laughs> so Camino, the LS. Yeah. 
a uh, jab rated dodge. Yep, flathead six. There you go with uh, two carbs. truck. daughter out here to the uh, fair when they do the fair over here and then after a while she didn't want to go anymore I don't know I was always I always liked the fairs and another time I took her to OC fair and we saw a Toto with Asia opened up for Toto <laughs> and I took her when she was eight and I had to wake her up when they uh, did Africa at the end. I will say my daughter, a week from tomorrow, turns 15. So I said I'm going to film the uh, run with a winner that day, then go get her. And we have a very, very nice dinner planned for her birthday. Cool, a show here. I basically had to clear it with anything. So the run with the winter people were like, Can you come shoot our show? And I'm like, Let me talk to my daughter. And she's like, Yeah, I'll sleep in. <laughs> we have 38,000 on this uh, C10. So it's an inline six. Maximum reliability. Yeah, C10 with the old aluminum topper. Very, very cool. I just got all the aluminum toppers. Uh, OBS short bed. We got the uh, billet wheels. Actually, my, uh, the satellite's got billet wheels with this on the caps. Fortunately, I did buy a set of uh, Keystone Classics off next door last year. So I got a very good deal on those. And they need tires, but the wheels are actually in really good shape. So those will probably wind up on the uh, satellite. Got a 454SS. I remember when these came out. See too many around in this condition anymore. Yeah. Right okay, dodge the fire hydrant. <laughs> fire hydrant hazard. C10 and four sale, 68. There's the info on that one. Real short bed truck with a 396. Bring it around on here. C10. 
I'll say it took me two hours to film the building inside. <laughs> and all that stuff, about how it took long off. it usually takes. At the uh, two door Tahoe with the all the Escalade stuff swapped over. style suburban. OBS 454 SS. All of the guys, Rick, he had a race car. Ron's daughter had a dragster. Let's go a And the sun is definitely coming out now. A 59 Ranchero. One. And I, this had 37 bullet holes in it when I found it. Yeah, down to Mecula. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so this one rolling in earlier this morning. Cab over. El Camino. So I guess they're doing a BMX show right now. Well, <laughs> I'm sure later on I'm going to see about getting maybe the dancing bed. Show. I think it's at one o'clock. Okay, so this is uh, Mark's truck, the LS, the viewer of the channel. Uh, 
our cab over. Saw this one uh, rolling in this morning. On a flatbed, he's all in uh, plastic cups apparently. Got a three door crew cab. This one is for sale for 60000 Says you don't know, know it's a railroad truck. I guess the railroad workers would roll out on this. I follow your channel. There you go. We got a, another cab. We got a lot of cab overs uh, at the show today. So the camera decided to magically change settings on its own, which I caught. So I hope I got it back to the correct settings. <laughs> I believe I did. It tried to switch to narrow on me. These days I will be buying a new camera. This one's got the uh, setup for wheelchair access. This does the spy versus spy van. So we've seen this one before in various events. This one's got the uh, full setup. Uh, one owner, 77 Dodge van. This guy is very active in local van events. And I talked to him. Uh, there was actually a few vehicles behind me coming in this morning. A uh, 67 C10. Yeah, uh, 56 F100. Boss 302 swapped in there. So the old Honda XR75. I had a Honda XR80 years ago. I saw those old Hondas. Still had a couple trails myself. One point, I think it was we had an XL 500 single cylinder with the uh, compression release. I wound up selling it. Because back when I had my uh, scooter shop, I used to find all kinds of interesting bikes. Uh, I used to get stuff from a charity donation auction that's no longer there. The SSR Chevy. So I always wind up with some interesting old motorcycles and then we kind of fix them and sell them. All the scooters. In case we get old CB, like a, like a 350 or something. Thirty-seven Dodge. This guy was in the uh, same group as me rolling in this morning. Well, that's it's six. Part of, especially in California, because every time one of these wrecking wheels closes, that's it. They don't get reopened. We're here. And this guy was like literally right in front of me when I rolled up this morning. This is the thirty-one Model A Roadster pickup. So he's got his own uh, bulldozer holding the wheel. So he drove from Diamond Bar, I think he said. But not too far. Talked to the guy when I was waiting. You have not a whole lot of little more of the outside area here. I'll keep the camera on me as I hang out the rest of the day. You never know what's going to pop up or who you're going to see. Uh, I actually filled all that stuff down so we
GMC square body. Sixty-seven El Camino. So I think when I started the video last year uh, here, I was like, "So do they allow El Caminos and Rancheros?" It was literally a thought that did go through my head. All sorts of Utes. We got Tahoe. Yes, crew cab dually. Right, Tahoe. Hey, what these suburbans and the Tahoes, man. They are very useful for hauling things, as well as people. Oh, I say my, mine has the uh, third row seat that you take out. And uh, so if I ever wanted to haul like nine people, I could. You know, just in case I ever want to haul nine people, I have it. And, uh, got a milk truck. Doesn't have any dairies on the side or anything. A cool milk truck. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all set up. Right, 58 Chevy Apache fleet side short bed pickup. Sale for twenty thousand. There's the info on that. Here we got our four fifty four SS. Short bed, four wheel drive, square body. Just gonna roll into this OBS style truck. I guess this one runs on propane and has all the propane accessories. There you go. We got an OBS extended cab with Boyd's billet wheels. Very, very 90s. Right, this truck was at uh, Long Beach swap meet last week. In fact, it's in the thumbnail photo. <laughs> if you've seen it at various shows. 
I, I could not make it to the Belmont Shore show after that. I just, I did the math and it, by the time I got down there, figured out how to park, which I heard it's hard to park at that show for spectators. Uh, I would have had very little time to film a show in a very crowded environment on a very hot day. And I said, okay, we'll just leave it at just the one for the day. So I did list it as a maybe, and that's pretty much why I did. short bed with a swap. The uh, GMC G Series van from the one tonner. Ford bump side short bed Go back there conference around behind it All right, that's going to wrap things up for Grand National Truck Show 2024 here at the Fairplex in Pomona. Next week on Saturday on the 21st, I am off to Ontario for Ontario Cruising Reunion. Saturday, we've got the Cal Rod Show, run with the winner uh, at Irwindale Speedway. That's on the 22nd. Uh, lots of other great events coming up on the channel. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Leave some comments about some of these cars or actually trucks. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.